What's up, YouTube? b 212 here with my latest haul video. Uh, nothing spectacular here, but some pretty nice books, some spec books that I was happy to pick up. Uh, just wanted to share with you guys. From my LCS, got Batman number 61. Just love, love that cover there. That's an amazing cover. And then uh, I've been picking up as many of these uh, Fantastic Four villains as I can. So I had a really nice uh, Medusa one. Nice claw. And I love uh, the Terax. And uh, I believe uh, Marco Jajervic has been doing all of these. He's the guy who did uh, Ultimate Fallouts variants. And just super, super nice. Um, picked this up on Instagram. And I got this for a really good deal. Um, there was a sale going on there. So I picked up uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number 90. Early black, uh, black suit appearance. And uh, take a look at this book if you get the opportunity and look at this book in a 9.8 and see what the prices are. It's insane. A 9.6 is about 130, but a 9.8 is ranging in the 300 plus range right now. So uh, a book that you can still find cheap in the wild if you can get um, that book in high grade. It's well worth slabbing, in my opinion. A um, couple more books that I picked up. I got these off of Instagram. Uh, it was a really good sale. And uh, Batman number 475, it's the first ventriloquist. I was able to get two copies. And then uh, I think these were two bucks a piece. So at two dollars a piece, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Significance to this, first Cindy Moon. Not first Silk, but first Cindy Moon. So those first appearances, you know, once Silk really, really, the hype gets out and she starts coming around. Good spec book to have. Hit the flea market uh, last weekend and I got some decent pickups. Uh, Fury of Firestorm, number 24. Uh, what's that, the first Blue blue Devil, Blue Beetle, I believe it was. Um, Web of Spider Man, number 36, first Tombstone. Another book. I got two copies. I got these at two bucks a piece. But another book that if you look at this on a 9.8, um, you'd be surprised at the price that this book has been selling. And it's not like one or two copies are sold. You're seeing 20 or 30 copies. I'm actually thinking about doing a series where I, I'll highlight books like this. Books that we can find out in, in the wild still, but have started to increase dramatically in the CGC forums. You know, the price range on CGC sold and everything else. Um, but let me know if that's something that you guys will be interested in seeing. I might do that once a week just as an added bonus. Um, Huntress number one. Uh, first solo story for the Huntress. Hawk and Dove number one. First Dawn Granger. Uh, they were great in Titans. It would be pretty cool to see them get their own series. Um, this is Rob Liefeld creator, Dawn Granger, creation, Dawn Granger. So, you know, he keeps putting it up on his Instagram page. And then, uh, Picked up a nice copy of uh, Adam number 18. Nice Silver Age book. Two bucks. Take it. And a, a very, very uh, high grade copy of uh, ASM 365. Another book that's just shot through the roof. Raw copies have even shot up, but the, the uh, slab copies of those are uh, really high. And I mean, it was just a little end scene. Imagine if, you know, the movie comes out. I uh, was able to get my hands on this gorgeous Clayton, Clayton Crane set of Batman Who Laughs number one, Scorpion Comics. Uh, that's the trade dress. One version and another version. So, very nice book. I, I, I love Clayton Crane's work, as you guys know. Um, I think he was one of the premier cover artists of 2018. Did a lot of nice work for Scorpion Comics. Him, Perillo, and Matina were the premier, in my opinion, cover artists. And then uh, Stephanie Hans did some nice work, too. And also, um, oh, I'm trying to think. Um, they did Titans. They did quite a few. There's another artist that's just uh, names eluding my mind right now. Uh, spec book, on my opinion, with everything that's going on with DC Universe and how great Titans was... And, uh, 
Young Justice premiering, that being really good. Uh, Doom Patrol coming out, so you know they, they they're taking commodities that weren't used before. Uh, this this I've said this before, and this is a commodity that I think has a, a possibility. You know, you could do a space adventure, you could do a lot of things, you could tie it into all the other DC characters. But uh, picked up a copy of Adventure Comics number three forty six, and that's the first Karate Kid, first Feral Lad, first Princess Projecta, and who's the other one? Uh, Nemesis Kid. Uh, my favorite growing up was the Karate Kid and Feral Lad. So, uh, good first appearance to pick up. It's a mid-grader, but I got it for pretty cheap. So, uh, happy happy to have that book in the collection. Um, something to look at something down the line. Uh, then, this was a random act of kindness. Um, as always, uh, Amazing, Amazing Murphinator just hooked me up with a beautiful book. I didn't come across it, but it's the Mike Diodato uh, X-23 number 7. And this book became super hot, so awesome to have in my collection. I appreciate that. And then uh, talking about Random Act of Kindness, I had a fellow co-worker gift me some books. And uh, I, I really, really appreciate it because this person uh, really went above and beyond. And uh, it's appreciated. Um, got me this beautiful uh, Return of Wolverine variant. Amazing Spider-Man 365, and this is a pristine copy. This might be getting slabbed. There's two books in here that might actually get slabbed. Um, some ASM 366, ASM 381, uh, 382, great Hulk cover. 383, 384, nice little run here. 385 and then this was uh the piece de resistance shall we say uh it's one of my favorite books i've said this before in my videos i'm probably going to get this one encapsulated because it has the ability to possibly be a 9-8 um we shall see but somewhere along the line this book is going to get slabbed and that's uh uncanny x-men number 221 so uh that's my haul you know i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, keep checking out the New York Warriors. Actually, there's a live auction on tomorrow with the New York Warriors, I believe, at 9 o'clock. So stop by, hang out, get some books. I'm going to try and make it if I'm not working. Um, if I am, if I'm not working, then you're going to see some, a, a little mixture of everything, you know. Uh, might have this up for sale there. A, a lower grade one, just because it has a crease going through it. But other than that, this book is spectacular. Really, really nice. That might be up for sale there. Um, first, Clint Barton is Ronan. That's probably going to be there also. Uh, so, you know, books like that. But um, let me know what you think about my idea about doing this. And, and uh, all transparency, it's not my, it's not an original idea. It was something that uh, I see done on CBSI and I love it. So I figured I'd bring it to the YouTube community and uh try it out if everybody's interested but you know we'll review a book like this and we'll go soup to nuts i have a whole format for it but let me know if that's something that people would be interested in i'll probably try one just to see you know how it how people react to it but until then peace and thanks for coming out